Electric is a global leader in energy management and automation. So basically you can find our products or solutions anywhere where electricity is being transferred or consumed uh, or something needs to be automated in buildings, in different industries, in utilities, so data centers, a lot of different things. In our industry, Internet of Things, not with this name, but with the similar capabilities, has been around for a long time. If you think about factories, for example, there have been different sensors, different controls that have been having the ability to connect. Uh, now, of course, uh, what is changing is the capability for analytics, for storage of data, uh, for accessing it anywhere in the world whether from your mobile application, uh, from the control room. So this is really the big transition that's uh, going on right now. Uh, Schneider Electric is uh, investing in uh, making all of our uh, products connectable. So that's kind of the foundation. You can't have Internet of Things if the products don't connect. Uh, then we also invest in what we call edge control. So how can you uh, control those things that you have out there? Uh, in a very convenient and user-friendly way. Uh, and, and more and more now, the focus is moving on the upper layer, which is the analytics and applications that then sit on top of all of that data that is available and that allow you to optimize the usage of that equipment. If we take the example of buildings, for example, uh, we see that the benefit of, of IoT will come mainly from four different things. So firstly, it's the comfort of the users of that building uh, to have the right temperature, the right, right climate conditions in the building. Secondly, for the building owner, uh, it allows them to increase the lifetime of the uh, devices in that building because they can be properly maintained. Uh, it also uh, makes uh, their operations more efficient because they don't need to walk around checking equipment but they can actually be informed about the upcoming service needs and target them to the right places. And then the fourth one, which I think is a very essential one, is actually energy savings. Uh, we estimate that there is about 80% of the energy saving potential of buildings still untapped. Uh, and by clever control that IoT enables, we can actually save in the heating and ventilation huge amounts of energy to make the world in the future sustainable for all of us and our children. If we again stay with the building segment, the traditional value chain of how to construct the building is not really supporting uh, the um, widespread usage of IoT. And what I mean by that is that Actually, the end user of the building has very little involvement in the process. And, uh, and the process of constructing a building consists of several handovers from one player to the other. From the design phase to the main contractor to the electrical contractor to all the subcontractors. And, and this makes it very difficult to build a user-friendly and cyber-secure overall solution for the building. And I think we need to look for much clever ways of collaborating between the end user and the different players in this chain to actually build uh, solutions that will support then the entire life cycle of the building.